Hey guys, I am here today to share another planner comparison style review for you featuring the Plum Paper Planner uh, by Plum Paper Designs and the Erin Condren Life Planner by Erin Condren Designs. Uh, these two planners I've been asked time and time again to review side by side because they do offer a lot of similarities in terms of, I mean, you can even tell just by looking at them on first glance, just size and shape and general layout of the calendar, um, but there's actually quite a bit of differences when you get into them in more detail, which is what we're going to do today. And there are two different price points, which is um, always interesting to see. So you might have seen this video from me before because I did actually post it um, not too long ago, but uh, I found out afterwards that there were several mistakes uh, in it, uh, mistakes on my part, they weren't intentional, um, I just overlooked some things accidentally or I just missed some information. Um, so I wanted to refilm it, kind of set everything straight, so hopefully I have all my stracks, stracks, my facts straight today, and I can share with you a look at both planners. Um, so I kind of went over already the initial similarities, but there's a lot of differences when you look at them in detail, so that's what I'm going to do. Um, and we're going to start by looking at the, the Plum Paper Designs Planner. Now, this was the original planner I ordered. Um, they have, Plum Paper is a stationary based company. Um, I think they have a wedding collection sold in stores across the country, but they also offer a line of planners and notebooks that are customizable through their Etsy shop online, and that's where I bought mine. Um, and the one that I received originally came damaged. It has a little bit on here. I'll uh, pop this down so you guys can see uh, on camera. There's a little bit of coil damage here. It came in a padded mailer um, and it also came in a plastic overwrap but just in a padded mailer and I just felt like that wasn't like protective enough um, shipping for a planner of this size or packaging I should say. And there's also a mis design mistake. This is a 2015 12 month calendar planner starting in January and it says 2014 on it. So there are a couple boo-boos. Since then I have spoken with um, Plum Paper customer service and they sent out a new one. I actually just got it today so I'm going to put this old one aside. I'm actually going to send it back to them. They now have offered are offering all of their planners in a box, which is really, really nice. So it comes in a really nice size box. You can see it's a good size for the planner. It's not too big, so there's not too much extra room for it to bump around in there. And this is how it comes packaged. Um, the box with some nice heavy duty um, bubble wrap, that's what that's called, and a sticker, and then the planner inside. And you can see not all of your new planners will come with this, but they sent me a prepaid mailer to send back the um, the other planner. And this is how they used to package them, but now they're in the box. So that was a really nice change they made to their company recent, recently. So now we can, we can put the box away, we don't need that anymore, and we can open up the planner. So like I said, it comes in a um, plastic, oh, there it is, I couldn't find the opening, a plastic over wrap. And this is a 12 month planner. You, this is what you buy in the shop. So they also sell, they sell these 12 month, these beautiful planners. There's 40 different cover options. Additionally, they allow you to make um, color changes to the design. You can't change like the layout of the design, but you can make, you can request color changes to the design. Um, you can also request font changes if you like fonts on a different design cover better out of all of the 48 options they offer. Uh, you can request a different font. You can request a second line of text. You can have them add a monogram or remove the text or remove the year. Um, I believe those are all of the... Oh, and you can also have them add a photo. Um, the photo will cost a little extra or a monogram if you want a monogram on your planner additionally. Um, so there are some customizations you can make and you make those requests when you're shopping through their Etsy listings in the note to seller section after you put your planner in the, that you want in the cart. You can make those... Um, make those customization requests there, and you can also request a design proof for a, a small fee, um, so you can see what you're getting before they print it. And all of their um, planners are bound, or print and bound, printed and bound in the US, right, in California in their offices, 
And additionally, I know they only ship to the US and Canada right now. So like I said, this is a 12 month planner and that's what you're paying for. It costs $31 for the 12 month pl planner without any additional add-ons. Um, and I believe it's a $10 flat rate shipping for the US. I'm not sure how much shipping is to Canada. Additionally, you can pay for extra add-ons in the calendar itself. You can't change the layout of the regular planners. They do have a, like I think six other planners. I'm sure I'm reviewing the regular planner today, but they also have a teacher planner, a student planner, and a family planner, all three of which you can ask for um, some customization in the actual planner themselves, like adding in your class schedule or your family names or whatever. Uh, but you can't do that in the regular planner. That's only in the special edition planners that I mentioned. In addition to that, they also have a wedding planner, a meal planner, and a fitness planner, I do believe. So they have a lot of options. Like I said, I'm focusing on the regular planners today. And like I said, there's 48 cover options. So you've got quite a bit to choose from. Like I was saying, you can also pay to add on some other things to your planner, including a monthly bill tracker, sticker sheets, um, note pages, uh, cleaning charts, checklists, extra contact sheets, um, papers, I mean, and like I said, design proof. Um, so there's still a lot of add-ons you can add. Um, the planner, the 12-month planner that I'm showing you today, so when you put it in the cart you get a 12-month planner. Um, so if you have, you can select it the starting month, anytime starting from May 2014 up to January 2015. At that point, if you bought a planner that started like say you wanted it to start November 2014, that planner would only come through to October 31st of 2015. It's a 12 month planner flat rate. So you have to add the additional months. They're not automatically included when you want to start the planner earlier. So just keep that in mind when ordering. Um, also, when you opt up to larger size planners, you get a larger coil and a thicker metal of that coil as well. So I'm showing you the 12 month planner. This is the, the like smallest coil they offer. But as soon as you order um, an additional two months or 20 extra pages, you get automatically bumped up to the next size coil. And I know that the largest planner they offer is um, 18 months plus addition, 36 additional pieces of paper. So keep that in mind when ordering add-ons as well. Um, okay, so let's get into this now that we've gone over all of that. Uh, so you can see there's this frosted uh, translucent plastic cover um, to protect the printed cardstock cover. And there is a metal uh, coil on the side here. The planner itself measures seven and a half inches wide by nine inches tall and it's about an inch thick by my estimates and the coil the coil is about an inch and the planner itself is just shy of an inch with the 12 months in it. Um, then so you have the plastic um, translucent um, over cover on both sides and then the printed cardstock with your dis chosen design um, as the cover on both sides. You can see the back as well, it's printed. Then you start to the inside of the planner. So here we have the cover sheet this planner belongs to, it's pretty standard. And then we have a 2015 year at a glance on two page spread with color palette. This is their main color palette. You can see the uh, laminated tabs on the side match it. This color palette really matches um, their most of their uh, design range very well. Now I don't know if all of the planners have the same color palette, I only know of the one to show you, but I think it matches really well with the, the design that I chose. Then we get right into the calendar. There's not a lot of stuff like in the front of the calendar. You can always add things in, like I said, that costs extra. This is just the basic No Bells and Whistles planner. So each month has a dividing page on cardstock with the month written on it and then a laminated tab on the sides for easy access. You get a page of uh, blank note paper uh, on the front and the last page of each month. So you have two lined note pages per month. Then you open up to the month at a glance calendar. So here we're looking at January. Each month gets its own color. Uh, there's a two tone, you know, it's gray and purple for January, and then it's gray and this sort of. Um, kind of brick red for February, etc., etc. Uh, so each month gets its own color laid out, and then that's really the only kind of design feature is the bits of color. It's pretty simple, streamlined, straightforward calendar. Um, I feel like they use pretty good um, 
you know, they make pretty good use of the page here. They're really um, using all of the space. They do have a margin on the left-hand column um, for, with a, a lined box for birthdays, a lined box for events, and then a blank box for notes. Uh, of course, it says a month at the top. And then you have Sunday through Saturday calendar with major U.S. holidays written in uh, gray, but it's also very subtle, and it's up at the top of each calendar box, so it's not really interfering with the main space of your writing space there. Um, and I feel like this is pretty easy to follow. It's not too bold, it's not too light, it's not too in your face or too, I don't know. It's just really nice and straightforward, I think. So then we move on to the Week at a Glance page. And here's a good example. You can see where the, they're including some of the days from the previous month to be the Week on Two page. So there's a few days left of December on the first week of January. And December's in the gray. And then we move to purple for... Um, you know, for January. Um, so I'm going to flip over to the next page so you can really see everything very clearly because I think the purple is nice and bold and easy to see on camera. So like I said, week on two page spread. Something interesting about Plum Paper is that they offer four designs uh, that for to choose from when you're ordering your planner on how you want your weekly spread to look. So there's four weekly spread options. I chose the uh, just the line columns. Each day gets a line column. There. They also have an option you can select uh, where the days are broken down into morning, afternoon, and evening, um, or the way the day is broken down to 30 minute increments. Or you can just opt to get the monthly calendar pages with um, lined no pages in between. So it's really just a monthly planner with blank line pages. Well, they're not really blank. They're line pages and they say the month on them. Um, so there's four different options to choose from. So that kind of sets them apart, which is really nice. Um, and they're all the same price. So I chose the line columns because that's what I would choose um, if I were ordering this for personal use. And the layout of the weekly spread is pretty much the same for three of the layouts um, where it's actual weekly layouts, the monthly only calendar is, you know, obviously not got the weekly pages, but it's got the, it's a vertical organization. Each day gets a column and there's the main column for the planning. And then there's this checklist with three line points with bullets for checking off things at the bottom. So each of the three different uh, layouts, weekly layouts have this checklist area at the bottom. Um, so, and I mean, it's really nice and customizable. The paper is really nice too, I forgot to mention. It's got a nice heavyweight paper. I believe it's 28 pound paper. It has a bit of a slip to it, which is really nice, especially if you're writing with like a felt tip pen. I feel like it would write really smoothly. And this goes on for the whole year. So we go all the way through to December, because I ordered the January through December calendar, and then we get to the end of December, and this is where they have some of the extra pages that come standard in the 12-month planner. So there's a couple of blank pages, and, and then there's this two-page spread of special dates broken down by month. Each month gets a box, they're in different colors, so it's easy to see and navigate. This is nice to put birthdays, anniversaries, what have you. There's a one sheet of contacts. This has my contacts on it. You can add more contact pages for an additional fee. And it has the major US holidays from 2014, 15, and 16, um, which is always nice to have at hand. Then we have a one page at a glance 2016 calendar, great for advanced planning, and a uh, cardstock uh, double sided horizontal slip pocket folder here. Uh, slip pocket, excuse me, it says for keeps uh, to put extra things that are important to you. Um, and that is the gist of the calendar, a good look at it uh, from front to back cover and all the insides. Uh, very well designed, very well laid out, and I love the optionality they give you with different customizations on the weekly spread calendars and also the things you can do with the colors and the fonts. Um, I think that's really neat. Um, so now we're going to look at the Erin Condren uh, planner. This is um, the one that I, I've had. Um, now just to be totally clear and upfront, I paid for the Plum Paper Planner myself. They sent me the replacement one free of charge, but I'm sending back the old um, damaged one, so it's still me who paid for it. This Erin Condren, my 2015 Erin Condren Planner was gifted to me by the company. I do um, have a referral account with them. Anybody can have one um, where if you use my referral link, you get a $10 coupon off your first purchase and I get a credit for erincondren.com and I've been um, allocating uh, those credits to give back to you in giveaways and things. Um, so I've, I bought my first Erin Condren planner. This is the one I bought uh, about this time last year. Uh, 
after hearing about it, actually, it was a viewer suggestion, just like the Plum Paper Planner was a viewer suggestion. That, you know, a lot of you wanted to see the comparison. Um, so I bought this one with my own money. I fell in love with designs and everything the company makes is just so cool and fun and vibrant. Um, it just really kind of goes with with my, you know, it's an aesthetic thing. It's like a, I love the aesthetic of the Plum Paper too. Um, but I just, I fell in love with this company and um, they noticed and they noticed that I talk about them a lot because I like them a lot and so every once in a while they send me a gift or a giveaway for you guys or something um, and it's just that's just kind of how online blogging and YouTube works um, when people notice you and they want to send you gifts for you to say no <laughs> so in full disclosure I did receive this one as a gift but I paid for the original one myself and I um, you know I found them, they didn't find me, basically. Uh, so, I just bought over my 2014 planner to show you really quick um, comparison between the two because my 2015 one is an 18 month planner, so it's obviously going to be thicker than the plum paper. Um, the 2014 one I have is a 12 month planner, so I'm just gonna show you. They're pretty comparable in size and thickness here, you can see. The Erin Condren planner is uh, almost the same width. It's seven and a quarter inches wide, but it's a little bit longer, nine and a quarter inches um, tall. So you can see, I mean, they're basically the same size. Erin Condren one's just a little bit, um, just a tiny bit taller. Um, and both 12 month planners, I think are about the same thickness. The coil on the standard 12 month uh, planner from Plum Paper is just a little bit smaller than the coil on the Erin Condren 12 month planner. And the Erin Condren planner, as far as I know, only comes in the one coil, whether you get 12 months or 18 months. Um, so that's basically where the similarities end. So we're going to take a closer look. I'm just going to pull over my 2015 one because the interior has been updated this year. Um, one thing I did want to mention about the coil, uh, while the plum paper coil is really nice and strong, and I know that the larger ones, uh, if you order like a planner with more pages, the larger ones have an even thicker coil, I will say that the standard 12 month coil on the Erin Condren planner is thicker than the, and just a little bit more durable than the 12 month uh, coil on the plum paper. Um, I think they're both very nice coils. I did this sound test in my last video. I think I'll show you again if you listen carefully. You can kind of hear the difference. So this is the plum paper coil and this is the Aaron Condren coil. So it's very, very sturdy. It's one of the things I like most about my Aaron Condren planner. Alright, so let's get in. So, like I said, the Erin Condren, this one is a, an 18 month planner. I'm just going to show you the calendar pages, um, the January calendar pages for a real good comparison. Um, you can get it um, additional months starting from when you order. So you can't pick what month you start in, like with the plum paper you could pick May or June even if it's November, but with this one you pay a little extra for additional months starting when you order it. So if you ordered one today, you would get November as the additional and December as the additional months and then it would go through all the way through December 2015. In addition, they offer quite a few design op uh, options. There are um, I think four different categories of designs. There's the classic covers, there's 45 different classic covers available, there are eight quote covers available, and there are 25 sorority covers available. There's also one design for foil, that's what you're looking at here, that is what I have. Um, it's one design, but it comes in two different metal options. So there's the gold coil with the gold imprint, or the platinum coil with the platinum imprint, that's what you're looking at here. Um, the foil editions are a little bit more expensive than the other editions, um, and in within each um, I think most of the covers you can customize the color palette, um, you can add personalization, um, you can request, you know, different things to be added to your text. Um, it's all kind of when you're ordering, it's on the order page itself. Um, and there, there is quite a bit of customization with the covers available. Uh, one of the neat things they offer this as of this year are um, interchangeable covers, which is really fun. So I, I've had my Halloween cover on. They have this um, kind of snap out, snap in thing where I just usually push up against it and it snaps right in. Um, so you can have different covers and they do sell the covers separately. I believe they're $7.95 each 
if I'm not mistaken. Uh, but that's a really fun option. I also just got this one for Thanksgiving in the mail. Um, they were offering a free cover promotion. I'm not sure if that's still going on. I'll put a little notation if it is. Um, and then I have another organized gen cover um, that I ordered originally with my order. So that's kind of a fun and different thing that they offer. Um, so you can really, um, you know, kind of change things up whenever you feel like it. Um, that's one of the things with uh, coil or bound style binders like this where, as with, um, you know, there's not a lot of customization with the covers usually. So that's kind of something fun and unique to them. Um, they also offer other accessories. Um, such as elastic bands. Um, the foil editions come with an elastic band included. Otherwise, you can buy them separately in pack of three. Um, and then they also sell um, personalized notepads that you can stick right into the back of your planner. They have a uh, you know um, adhesive sticker on the back. You can also buy um, an adhesive pen holder to stick onto your planner. I have one on my planner from last year. You can see here stuck right there. So you can pop your favorite pen or pencil in. And something else new this year are the coil clips. These are really cool. Um, they allow you to, um, so they allow you to uh, kind of, this has this adhesive backing on it and then you can stick on, I don't have anything here, but let's just say this was like an invitation or a postcard or something. You could take off the backing and stick this on and then this would clip into your planner or into the front or wherever you want it. Um, and then it can be a part of your planner pages and you can move it around. So that's kind of fun and unique thing that they've designed this year as well. The uh, planner itself with a standard cover is $50 for a 12 month planner. It's an additional five if you add the months, extra months on. And there's a $7.95 is their um, cheapest shipping, but I recommend going to the next shipping level up, which is $9.95. It comes like at least a week faster. I totally recommend that. Um, they do ship internationally, but international shipping can get a little bit pricey. Um, actually kind of a, a lot pricey for any for any company. It's pricey and the customers are responsible for any customs, taxes, or tariffs on their end. So keep that in mind when ordering. In fact, I have a link on my blog post kind of describing their international shipping costs and everything. The foil design planner, which like I said, comes with the elastic band, uh, costs $65 for the platinum edition and $75 for the gold. And the gold is really cool. It's definitely different and unique. It's different than uh, anything else I've seen myself personally. Um, so let's get into the planner here so we can have a look. So um, you, you get a cover standard with your planner, whatever planner you choose. And then of course, like I said, you can order other covers. It says a place to write your contact info on the front. The foil editions come with this translucent kind of fly leaf here with the, with the design on it. Otherwise it would just open right onto the first design page. There's a couple of design pages here. Um, this just opens up to the, the tabs here. So unlike the uh, plum paper planner, the Erin Condren planner tabs are right on the pages. There's no cardstock. Um, separating the months. Um, so just keep that in mind. That adds a little less bulk to the planner. There are a few more pages, I think, that come standard in the Erin Condren planner. So um, that kind of makes up for the for that. Uh, so we open up, there's a 2014-2015 at a glance calendar. So here we have um, on two pages, 2014 through 2015. And it was just the 18 months of the planner as I ordered it. Um, so that's the whole spread there in different colors. And now you're gonna really see the color and design kind of plays a big part in the Erin Condren Life Planner. And that's, if you're gonna like it, you're gonna like it. And if you're not gonna like it, you're not gonna like it. It's sort of an aesthetic thing. This is with anything, right? Another design page, and then we pop right into the calendar. So I'm gonna jump over to January. Um, since that's where we started with the other ones. So here you can see the month on two page calendar. Um, and the, you can see the color palette plays in here. Each month gets a two-tone color palette. Uh, so for January, it's this tangerine and um, turquoise palette. And you'll see that, that kind of carries through the whole planner. Um, I mean, the whole month, excuse me. And each month gets a different one. They do also, um, you know, they keep things pretty open in the calendar portion itself. Uh, so the margin at the top, we have the, the month, obviously, and then we have this motivational uh, phrase. There's a different one every month. And then on the right-hand margin, there is a line section for notes. And then the calendar itself, 
pretty standard. It's, sun it's uh, Saturday through Sunday, and um, they do list the U.S. major holidays, but they're very, very subtle, as you can see, discreet, and there is a little bit of design feature, little flourishes and things are very discreet. Um, so I feel like this is pretty open. You still get the color palette pow that Erin Condren Design offers without interfering too much with the calendar itself. Then the weekly pages are in between, so here you can see December's color palette was this green and blue and it's moving into January. It's just like with the plum paper how I showed you how they kind of differentiate um, the months in the weekly spread with the colors. And so I'm going to flip over to the next page to show you. Something else kind of unique that Erin uh, Condren Life Planner comes with is this snap-in ruler. Uh, really nice high quality thick snap and ruler that you can move from week to week or month to month or wherever you want to place it and they've made it clear this year so you can see through it which is a nice feature. I'm just going to pull that out so we can really see the whole spread really well here. So week on two page spread again Monday through Sunday each day gets an equal space. There are no uh, customization options for the interior of the calendar and you can't there's only this one design offered. Um, so that's something different from the plum paper. You just get the one design where it's broken down with blank boxes, morning, day, night, three boxes. Each day gets a column, vertical organization again. And at the bottom you have uh, three line spaces for you know whatever extras you want to write in. There is a month at a glance uh, calendar at the top for the current month on the left hand margin and then a weekly goals and notes section that's aligned. Uh, and this basically goes on for the whole calendar. Again here you can see the color palette for February, it's pink and red, it goes on and on. Um, there's not a huge amount of design features other than the color. I mean the color palette's the main thing. The other thing they include is this one little bubbly section that separates the left hand note margin from the weekly calendar. But I feel like that doesn't interfere too much with the um, the writing space. And this goes on and on and on. Till we get to the very last bit of the calendar. There's no note paper in the actual bulk of the calendar. Here now there is a note section. It has a tab divider and there are a few pages of lined paper, quite a few actually. And then there's this really beautiful um, blank paper that is so pretty I never want to write on it, but that's silly because it's beautiful and you should write on it. So there's a note section at the back and then you have a, an advanced planning section on two pages here, 2016 on one page, 2017 on another page. That's nice. I haven't seen a 2017 um, calendar in any of the planners I've reviewed thus far. Then we flip over. You can see here they show you um, how you can become a referral. So it says, believe you can and you will, and others can too, invite a friend, earn store and credit, and pass on discounts to new shoppers. Um, and it's easy to sign up, it's free, anybody can do it. Um, so that's something different that they offer. They also include sticker sheets um, standard in their planner. So there's two pages of printed stickers, one sheet for birthday, and, and one that has a game, day off, hair appointment, dentist appointment, sale, uh, concert, doctor's appointment, mani-pedi, party, vacation stickers. And then there's two sheets of blank stickers, as you can see, some of which I've used. And then we get to the Keep It Together folder. So other things that you can order additionally are um, customizable stickers, uh, which you can see I have used, and also they have a uh, photo stickers. So they have text stickers and photo stickers you can order additionally. Um, you can also add a photo to your, um, I think to most of the designs of the planners for an additional cost as well. So here we're at the back of the planner, there is this uh, double sided cardstock, uh, printed cardstock uh, folder with this really deep pocket with a slant for easy access but also holds a lot. Um, and it's very nice and thick and reinforced. Also included in the planners this year for Erin Condren is the new Perpetual Calendar and Contacts book. This is a really nice feature um, because you can use this from year to year and not have to write all this stuff over and over again. So the first pages, they have holidays and dates to remember, to remember, excuse me, so it's kind of all the regular U.S. holidays. And then there's a, a page for each month for birthdays, anniversaries, or annual events. It goes all the way to the through December, January through December, and then there is at the back my important numbers and my contacts. And this has, you know, doctors, bank, etc. And then this is just whoever's really important to have on your own hand. And like I said, this is a nice feature because you can use it from year to year and I'll have to write it again. Also included in the Erin Condren Life Planner is a um, zip vinyl zip pouch and this comes with 12 um, 
labels, half of which are personalized to match your planner, which is a nice feature, and also comes with some Let's Get Together cards and spiral um, paper clips. So that's included, and then that's the back planner. And that is everything that comes standard in the 12-month um, Erin Condren planner. So as you can see, both planners are just, they're really beautiful options. Um, there is a big discrepancy in price, you know, between the $31 plus $10 shipping and the $50 plus $10 shipping. Um, or if the foil, it's even more like the 65 but if you got a regular cover, it'd be $50. Um, and I really do believe that they are both appropriately priced for what you get. Um, I feel like the Plum Paper Planner is just a little bit less sturdy. Um, the um, Air Condor Planner has this really heavy duty laminate cover. It's 10 millimeters laminate, which is like really, really, really sturdy. Um, whereas this is maybe just a little less sturdy, but I think it's a really wonderful planner for $30. And I think this is a really wonderful planner for $50. Like I said, I think they're appropriately priced. What you pick is really based on what price you're willing to pay and your personal aesthetic, like if you like a more streamlined calendar or if you want a little bit more design, a little bit more color. Um, it's really a personal aesthetic choice and a personal price choice, I would say. I forgot to mention that Erin Condren Designs also offers a teacher lesson planner, a wedding planner, and an address book. Erin Condren Designs also makes great stationery and home accessories items that can be personalized. They have acrylic things, travel items, office supplies, stationery, holiday cards. They offer a lot of different um, products on their website and everything is sold through their website. And I think that's all the news I have to share about that. Um, both planners are beautiful and designed by really passionate, wonderful women who've turned their passions into full-fledged businesses. Um, and that, I think, about sums it up. So I have two really rather huge giveaways for you guys. I am going to be running them separately, but on the same blog post. So you can enter both individually. It'll make sense when you go visit my coordinating blog post below, um, only because I've already had one of the giveaways running for uh, this week, and it's too complicated to kind of try to add in the other one. So we're going to have an additional separate giveaway. You can enter both. So the first giveaway is for um, 25 people will win a $100 electronic gift card to erincondren.com to use however you want. You can buy a life planner, you can buy a lesson planner, you could buy holiday cards, you can buy whatever you want. Sky's the limit. Super easy to enter. Um, the giveaway is going to run for an, another week. Um, like I said, you just follow the directions of my coordinating blog post. Easy peasy. The second giveaway is um, hosted uh, by Plum Paper uh, Designs. They have generously offered uh, 25 uh, regular planners as prizes to you guys. So there will be 25 winners who will win a um, who will win a planner. And um, I'm going to host the giveaway, like I said, separately, so you can enter both on my coordinating blog post. And the 25 people who win will be contacted by Plum Paper um, personally, and then they will um, ask you what planner you want, what personalization you want, etc. You can choose from any of the 48 cover options um, in their Etsy shop. So, 50 winners total, two separate giveaways, lots of giveaway love to share with you. Thank you so much to Plum Paper for your generosity, and thank you to Erin Condren also for your generosity in providing me with this planner and also being generous in, with previous giveaways. Um, I'm using my referral credits to, um, to get the uh, gift cards for you guys who uh, win the Erin Condren giveaway. So. Lots to, lots to go check out on my blog post. There's um, uh, also product photos and links to things and some more information sometimes when I'm filming. I forget things, so all of that's in my coordinating blog post. Check it out. And um, that is it for you guys today. I will see you with another planner update soon featuring the Uncalendar and the planner pad. And I hope you guys are all well. Thank you for watching, you guys. Take care. Bye.